Hi folks, today we wanted to cover something we built a while back but continue to get a lot of questions and interest on. I'm talking about a laser harp. That's right, a musical harp with laser beams for strings. You can buy one for thousands of dollars, but we wanted to see if we can make one from scratch. I will say up front that this is not an easy project and this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial. We just want to share our particular approach and explain how it works. The key to the laser harp is of course the laser like this one here. In this case, we used a 200 milliwatt green laser. Ideally, we would like to replace this with a 500 milliwatt laser for more brightness, but they are quite pricey. Using a single laser, one may ask, how do you make multiple beams out of one beam? Well, there's a trick to doing that. A laser, like this one, is shone onto a face silvered mirror that's vibrating extremely quickly as it's controlled by a high-speed galvanometer that's moving at 20,000 positions per second. We can also turn the laser on and off electronically thousands of times per second. We started by building a circuit to control the mirror oscillations and the laser pulses. The brains behind the circuitry is an Arduino microprocessor. Because we are controlling one beam at a time, the code knows which string is on at any point in time. We can also control how many strings our harp has by changing the code alone. We decided to go with seven for the best brightness and stability. We can also change the note range or octave from within the code as well. How does all this work? Well, to make the first beam, we move the mirror to position 1 and we stop it. Then we turn the laser on and off, short burst. Then we move the mirror to the second position and turn the laser on and off again. We repeat this position, this process, for the number of beams we want to display and then repeat the entire cycle about 60 times per second. Because this is repeated at high speed, your eye perceives all the beams as appearing simultaneously. In reality, there is never more than one beam on at a time. To know when a beam is being broken, we rely on the reflected light from whatever is breaking the beam. By putting optical sensors on the control box, we can detect the reflected light and feed it back into the Arduino. To eliminate background light, we use two optical sensors, that way we can detect ambient light and one that can see the reflected laser light. Every time a beam is broken, the Arduino code knows which string is on at that particular point in time. The code will then generate a MIDI signal to play that note. When the beam is no longer broken, the note is stopped playing. Then, by connecting the MIDI output to a synthesizer, in this case a virtual one running on the laptop, we can hear the musical notes being played. Because the laser is not quite as powerful as we would like it to be, we need to get maximum reflection from the beam when it's broken. To do this, I printed some finger pads using a 3D printer. The white plastic reflects most of the laser light down towards the sensor. With a brighter laser, you could just use your finger to break the beam, however. Now the only thing left for us to do is learn how to play this cool new instrument. We just don't have much musical talent. <laughs> That's a high level overview of our laser harp without going into all the gory details. Hopefully it inspired you to do something cool with a laser other than base, basement eye surgery. Thanks again for all the comments and feedback on our channel. We do read them all, we just can't always reply to all of them. Take care and stay tuned for more to come.